All right, Plotting for tomorrow, plan. though, <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to be a tough road for a lot of us tomorrow. Yeah, so. I mean, we're going to have the fog tonight uh, and then after 8 o'clock. So at least the first half of the commute, I think, tomorrow morning in good shape here. Okay, good to know. Um, once we get late morning and midday, it's going to get a little uh, interesting here. So we'll take care of the fog situation tonight, locally dense areas of drizzle. The road's mainly wet, but low visibility. Now, this is what's going to be happening uh, for the morning hours. Now, I can tell you, uh, if you get up early with Chuck and Lindsay, 4 or 5 a.m., radar won't be that busy. Once we get towards 7, 8, we'll start to see this thing move up. And uh, by 8 and into 10 o'clock, that thing will start to ramp up for us. It will be a combo of snow, sleet, freezing rain. In some cases, farther south, you go just a cold rain. Uh, after 12 p.m., it transitions to a cold rain. We will have downpours at times in the afternoon and evening and possibly some rumbles of thunder with the system later in the day. Winter weather advisory will start at 5 a.m. It will last at least until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is how it's going to shape up here. Uh, a degree or two change at the surface to just above the ground will dictate what you have in terms of either snow, sleet, or freezing rain. Exactly where that warmer layer is going to be, it's impossible to say. And uh, your precipitation could change from snow to sleet, back to snow or freezing rain, all in a matter of a half an hour or so. This is at 10 a.m., so we'll start to see the precipitation spreading northward. At times, will be moderate to heavy, and temperatures that will hover and just be below freezing even at noontime. And then we'll start to see more green on the map, and that's just going to be a cold rain in the afternoon and evening. But that window from about 8 a.m. to about noontime, I believe we're going to have slick sidewalks, and even some of the roadways could get a little slick here too. So uh, a slower commute expected. This is tomorrow night. We'll still have some lingering freezing rain, and we'll have more fog around. These are some of the ice potential here. If we stay at 30 degrees for a little bit longer, these numbers could be a little bit higher. And there's the potential for some snow and sleet accumulation. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Um, right now we're thinking about an inch or less around the metro area. This is the first system this week. The second one will come in as we head into the middle part of the week. So here's Wednesday right now. Temperatures again, We'll get into the mid 30s in the afternoon. A lot of fog round on Tuesday. Our next snow chance will show up on Wednesday before we brighten up Thursday, Friday, and yet another storm system coming in next weekend.